for this Mass, let's include the following intentions. Thanksgiving for the birthday of Trix Coster today, happy birthday. Of Mercy Rementilla, last January 17. Of Gina Altares, of Joan De Vera, and Jed Ronquillo. Let's pray for the healing of Mercy Rementilla, Joselito Marquez. Let's pray for the eternal repose of the soul of Roy Sneden, Gonzalo Bonifacio, and Isabel Toralba. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. To do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Today we celebrate the memorial of a Jesuit saint and martyr, St. John Ogilvy. O God, who are pleased to give light to your church by adorning blessed John Ogilvy with the victory of martyrdom, graciously grant that he imitated the Lord's passion so we may, by following his footsteps, be worthy to attain eternal joys. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the Holy Ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same e eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater to whom, by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now men, now men swear by someone greater than themselves, for them, an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an, with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it, is, it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This is we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the response be, God will remember his covenant forever. God will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the, in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in their delights. God will remember his covenant forever. He has one renowned for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. 
He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified this covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Let's all rise. Alleluia. 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 May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of the grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need, and he was, and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good day to everyone. So today we celebrate the memorial of a Jesuit priest and martyr. He was from Scotland. His name is St. John Ogilvie. He was born in a wealthy Scottish family and he attended Catholic colleges under the Benedictines and the Jesuits. They are now located in the present-day Czech Republic. So he entered the Jesuits in 1608. That was around 56 years after Francis Xavier died and he was ordained in Paris, 1610. And then in Paris, he met two Jesuits who just returned from Scotland. They had a traumatic experience there because they were placed in prison. So during uh, that time in Scotland, there was a tightening of the penal laws which forbade preaching and endorsing the Catholic faith. The Jesuits were there, so little hope of missionary work there. St. John Ogilvie, instead of being afraid of these stories, he became inspired to be sent in this dangerous Scottish mission because there's a dwindling Catholic uh, people there and he wants to minister there in the Glasgow area. So finally, the superiors allowed him to go back to his native land, Scotland. And in November, he disguised himself different things, one of them as a horse trader. He did not introduce himself as a Jesuit, but as a horse trader. So he secretly celebrated Mass in Catholic homes and even made some convert. However, someone betrayed him, revealed his identity, so he was arrested in Glasgow and put into jail and he was convicted of high treason because he denied the king's spiritual jurisdiction by upholding the primacy of the pope in condemning the oaths of supremacy and allegiance to the crown it was believed that the the crown the king has higher authority than anyone else even spiritual authority in march only age 36, John Ogilvie was paraded through the streets of Glasgow and hanged at Glasgow Cross. And then after he was pushed to the ladder, there's a beautiful story that he threw his rosary. So he was hiding his rosary. During the time of his death, he threw it and someone caught it. And according to the story, the one who caught it became a devout Catholic. 
As a martyr of the Counter-Reformation, John Ogilvie was beatified in 1929 and canonized in 1976. He is the only post-Reformation saint from Scotland. The readings today are, are very beautiful. St. John exemplified these teachings. In the first reading from Hebrews saying that uh, don't neglect the hope before us because we have an anchor in our life, a sure hope, a high priest who is the forerunner on our behalf. St. John Ogilvie followed the example and teachings of this high priest when he secretly celebrated Mass and ministered to the persecuted Catholics of Scotland. In our time, Jesus is still our high priest and in every Eucharist we celebrate, just like today, we continue to remember with thanksgiving the supreme offering of sacrifice made on our behalf. Well, in the Gospel, we are taught not to live a rule-centered Christian life, but rather a love and people-centered Christian life. The martyrdom of uh, St. John is a good example of living the commandment of Jesus, which is to love one another as we are loved by God. Through, so through the intercession of St. John, uh, martyr from Scotland, let's hope that our own hope in our high priest, Jesus Christ, continue to be alive and deepened and lived out. And may, continue, may we continue to live a life centered on the spirit of the law rather than the letter, which is loving one another and making sacrifices for the good of all. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of our consolation and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr, St. John Ogilvy, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Ogilvy, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with St. John Ogilvy, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lived and reigned forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we, who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son, may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for our nation. Be with us, Lord, as we continue to face the difficulties caused by the pandemic and recent political developments. Unite us in spirit so that we are able to fight a common unseen enemy that has caused countless uncertainties and losses. We pray for our public servants and government leaders, especially those who continue to act with a genuine sense of duty and love for our country. Protect them, Lord, and give them the courage to stand on the side of truth and justice despite adversity. May this pandemic lead us to conversion and a change of heart, that we may set aside personal and political considerations to prioritize the common good. May your Spirit inspire us to be merciful and compassionate toward the poor and suffering in society. For we know that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do for you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Oh, don't be.